many people have called our office as to why uh, the delay. And basically what happened was, when they were working on, the, on replacing these expansion joints, they found that there were heavy duty wires in here that powered the subway. And uh, that created a very, very big problem. These, these wires were not in the plans that were submitted to the contractor. So what had to happen was the wires had to be moved from here and placed above. And that's what you see up there. Those are new conduits, and the wires that power the station are within those conduits. And so the wires that were in the concrete here had to be removed and taken up the top end of the station and around the station to avoid the expansion joint work. That was $400,000 worth of work that was unanticipated and it frankly caused a, a five month delay in the whole uh, process because as you can see, there are many wires that were found there. Each one of them had to be traced. Each one of them had to be uh, rerouted. So that's the big delay that uh, has been uh, causing all the trouble here at the station. Uh, now that we're back on track, this will be, concrete will be put in here on Monday, uh, March 1st or 2nd. And then they will move to the location over here, which is the last expansion joint that needs to be worked on. That will be done by March 15th. And then right here in this hole, I am now, once the expansion joints are done, the track will come back in. That will take about three or four days of, uh, of work. That work is uh, relatively efficient. And then they have to wait one week for it to cure. So from March 15th, when they finish the expansion joints, they'll need another 10 days to uh, finish the, the track work. And hopefully, if all goes well, we will have the station back in full operation by March 25th of, uh, of this year. Hi, I'm Silvano Florindi, the construction manager of uh, Toronto Transit Commission. Here we have uh, contractors working at St. Clair West Station completing one of the expansion joint repairs. They are currently working on uh, expansion joint number one here, installing uh, the steel armor. And uh, you have employees here working on installing uh, reinforcing steel. The armoring is now in place on this expansion joint and uh, we'll be ready to pour concrete on uh, Monday next week. Here we have expansion joint number two that is currently just uh, being uh, chipped out. The concrete's being chipped out to uh, expose uh, the expansion joint to allow the armoring to be installed. Uh, this, uh, the chipping has to occur uh, during nights with the power off uh, to, in, in the event that we encounter any live conduits, uh, we won't have any issues with uh, worker safety.